<laughs> Here we are, folks. We are in the DePaul parking lot. We have the researchers from the psychology department ready to go. We're going to storm EPA in Pittsburgh. What do you guys think about going to do your present your research in Pittsburgh? What do you think, guys? Oh. Everyone cheers that time. And on that note, we'll see you on the next segment. The next segment. <laughs> and of course, research always brings good meals. Where are we, folks? Uh, Wendy's, the healthiest place on earth. <laughs> let's let's carry on, shall we? Onward to Pittsburgh. See you on the next segment. See you on the next segment. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Don't forget Patty Jimmy. Patty Jimmy. Mike Dana. Yeah, yeah. Christina, do you remember what? See you later, Mike. Okay, bye. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you on the next segment, folks. This is silly. I feel like I'm the NFL. What do we do right now? Here we are, folks. We're on the way to Pramati oh, Brothers man. here in the <laughs> courtesy <laughs> van here. Everybody's here. We're going to drink the biggest <laughs> water. We're all having fun. <laughs> you guys hungry? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Right. And I'm really ready for, I'm really you ready for a sandwich with fries and slaw Same. all in it? Oh, yeah. Sandwich. I want a sandwich. Sandwich. Go get some sandwiches. <laughs> They'll some slap you if you <laughs> say it that way in there, you know. Oh, well, no sandwiches. We'll no say, sandwiches. Like sandwiches. <laughs> JK. <laughs> Here we are, folks. We're doing some video of Pramonti Brothers. Kelly is going to try to see if she can handle a Pramonti sandwich. Wow, like a champ. Look at that bite. Like a champ. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that sandwich didn't have a chance. Yeah. Like a wow. <laughs> nice. <laughs> there we are. They're all yeah. having their. There's <laughs> <laughs> Jill with hers. <laughs> <laughs> Steph's got like hers. Allison. <laughs> Chad. <laughs> oh, they're still waiting on theirs over here. Right. We'll see you on the next segment. Okay, the, again, we're at the EPA conference in Pittsburgh here in 2012, March, and this is Kelly Overton. She's done research on reactions to having a parent with cancer, developing a new measure to assess the effects of this. Kelly, what do you think overall of the research experience you got? The research, I love doing it because it made me feel so much closer to what I want to do with my life and closer to my mom, which was my motivation. And I want everyone to you know, know the effects of what it does to adolescents. How do you like having been able to come here and present at this uh, Eastern Psych Association convention in Pittsburgh? A little nerve-wracking, but it's out there and it's what everyone should see, so I love attending it and letting everyone see what I've done. Thanks a lot and good luck in your research. Thank you. Bye. Okay, we're here at the EPA convention. This is Erica Osberg, who is an undergraduate researcher. She's uh, in her sophomore, actually junior year of credit, but sophomore year. She did a study on cyberbullying. Erica, tell us about your experience at Niagara University with doing research. Um, it's definitely been a positive experience this year. Um, I feel like I've learned a lot through the process. Um, our findings, you know, they impacted not only me, but they were relevant to the university as well. And um, I think that cyberbullying is a great topic to study in the in light of recent events and so on. Um, being here at EPA is exciting, and um, I can't wait to continue working. Okay, thanks, Erica. Good luck with your research. Okay, we've got Stephanie Capola 
on the left and Allison Kilmer on the right. They're both student researchers at Niagara University. What's it been like to do research at Niagara as a student? Uh, it, <laughs> it gives you a really good experience and I feel like a really big grown up being here at a conference and you know presenting my own study and you know having to talk about what I've done on my own and of course with Dr. Osberg. Okay, Allison. <laughs> Grown up, like it's definitely people don't get to do this every day, so I definitely feel very like blessed and able to be here. And I almost feel like it's kind of like the push that everyone needs to kind of get out there and kind of you know branch out and realize like you can do this on your own, like it's possible. Like I can present my own research and like like no sweat, it's fine. So good. It definitely feels good to see your own work. Up yeah, on this very rewarding after all your hard work, after you know the correlations and everything, and getting everything straight. Like it definitely pays off. You can sit there and be like, this is my post. And how about being at the conference so far? How's this been so far? I love it. I love it. It's I love really it. great to see what everyone else has done too, and it's a great it's experience. Cool there's like a huge variety of people, like, and it's so everything is like there's so many different mm -hmm. like options of different subjects and things like that. Like everything is it's cool to just see how many other people do different stuff, you know. And are we having fun? Oh, yeah. yeah. What I'll do leave. we What I'll do we have done so far? We've gone to the Monty Brothers, which is really great. And then, where did we go last night? The Sports Bar. We went to the Shark Edge. Shark Edge, yeah. And I guess, interesting, I went just with the band. But tonight, I guess we're going to the Andy Warhol Museum. That's going to be super excited. And then tomorrow, I we present, I think we're going to the zoo slash aquarium. So, we're going to be trying to do a lot of stuff while we're here. You can't forget. Yep, excited for that. Well, good luck with your future research. Thank you very much. All right, we're here with Christina Antonelli, an undergraduate student, senior at Niagara University, and she's uh, presenting her research here on irrational food beliefs and body esteem. Christina, what's it been like to be a student researcher at Niagara? being a researcher. I started off uh, doing research with Dr. Osberg on college student drinking when I was a sophomore and it, I have nothing but great things to say. I, every year I've developed my skills and uh, conceptualizing, conducting, analyzing data. It's all really important stuff and I really feel like I, I'm a step above my peers and I'm ready for grad school and um, I'm really excited and glad that I've been able to be a part of all this great research. Excellent. And what's it like to come to the EPA conventions, in particular this one in Pittsburgh this year? Um, it's been a lot of fun and very informative. This morning I went to a talk on Bayesian statistics and um, I'm excited to go to the workshop tomorrow and actually get my hands on some of this stuff. Um, being able to present with my friends and my professors and be able to show what I've learned is really important to me and I'm very thankful. And on the fun side? On the fun side, we just came from Cremonti Brothers, we're going to the Andy Warhol Museum tonight, and Pittsburgh is a great city, and I'm just really excited and thankful to be here. Excellent. Thanks a lot, Christina. Thanks, Dr. O. Here we are, folks. We're ready for dinner at August Henry's. America? Yeah, you're right. America. I did. America. Okay, we're here with Alex Peters. She's a Niagara University undergraduate working with Dr. Sue Mason on research relating to statistics anxiety. Alex, uh, how did you like the experience of doing research here at Niagara? It's one of the best experiences I've ever had. It's really taught me a lot about psychology and statistics, and it's really an experience that's really
really changed everything. Excellent. And uh, how's it been uh, being at the EPA conference here in Pittsburgh in March 2012? It's great. I'm learning a lot about psychology and learning all the different different types of psych, and it's really great to see everyone's really interested. Having a little fun too? A little fun. What did we do so far? We went to the Mento and then we're going to the zoo maybe, Andy Warhol Museum. All right. Good luck with your future research. Here with Chad, Mike, Kevin, and Kate, who are co-authors on this research uh, on the, the study of college alcohol beliefs. And I uh, just thought I'd ask you guys, what's it been like, uh, Kate, to uh, be a researcher here at Niagara University as a student? Um, it's been a really good experience. Um, a lot of different aspects. We get to go to conferences. We get to work with the students who are participating in the research. And Great. Kevin, your thoughts? My thoughts? I thought it was a great experience. I mean, I learned a lot about the research process and how much work actually really does go into it. So, I really enjoyed it. Excellent. Still on there. Nigel? I mean, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. Uh, honestly, I really enjoyed my time working with the research here. I, a whole lot other than handling a lot of the materials. But I got to kind of learn how to do research and how to present it in a way that's not only professional, but gets your listeners interested in the topic. So, honestly, worthwhile experience. Good. Chad, your thoughts? All right. I think that it was an honor and a privilege to be in hey. around hey. such, <laughs> such a such brilliance with everyone and in a convention that right? just makes me feel uh, like I did something with my time. There's just so many excellent to thank. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and, uh, uh, first off, I want to start by thanking Okay, guys, well, upstairs. and how about the fun side of uh, being at a conference? What do we do? Fun side? I got to make some new friends. Eating in Oregon. <laughs> Too much food. Great. Oh, been so so much. Traveling. Oh, traveling is nice. All right. Yeah, it's a lot of fun learning about hundreds and hundreds of different topics on the site. That's Very good. Good. All right, well, thank you, researchers, student researchers at Niagara University. Thank you. Okay, we're here with Jill Fish, who's an undergraduate researcher at NU. She's a senior in the psychology department. Jill, what's it been like to be a student researcher at NU? Um, it's been really interesting. I've been able to conduct my own research out of a lab, which is something I never thought I'd be able to do as an undergraduate. I've been able to do my honors thesis and write it up and just make my own scale, my own measure for Native Americans, which is something I just never thought I'd be able to do. So I've really enjoyed it. Great. And what's it been like to be here at EPA, the Eastern Psych Association Conference in Pittsburgh in March of 2012? This has been a really great experience. Uh, it gives me a taste of what my graduate school life will hopefully be like in the next coming, uh, coming months. And I've met a lot of people that have done their own research and they've been really encouraging to my own experiences as well. And it's overall been really positive and it has a good impact on my future. Excellent. And how about the fun side of coming to a conference like this? Well, we've gone to a lot of different places like the Clemente Brothers, which was a lot of fun. We get to go sightseeing and I've never been to Pittsburgh before and I'm basically here for free and that gives you a lot of free time to do tons of stuff I've never been able to do at home. Excellent. Thanks a lot and good luck with your research. Here we go, we got Jill racing. <laughs> there they go, and we've successfully oh, made it. That would just be so funny. Well done.